So, but let's look ahead to, to next week. Falcons, this is a winnable game. Uh, it's in Europe, so that can always be something. You don't know how exactly this is going to be impacted. I thought that the Jets won in week four based on their ability to convert on third downs. Uh, and I think some of that credit goes to Wilson, of course. I think a lot of it goes to Mike LaFleur. I think he called a fantastic game for a young quarterback, kept – uh, Zach Wilson in a comfort area as loud, you know, had some throws and some plays called in there to give him some rhythm to get him comfortable. And then, like you said, there's some success there on the ground. Looking ahead, if we're looking at this game that's coming up, when you say like, you know, they they did get dominated with time of possession. I mean, the Titans had the ball forever. But I guess my question is against uh, Atlanta. What, if anything, scares you about this game with, with, with the Falcons? Because it is a very winnable game on paper. No question about it. But when you look at Atlanta, it's the same thing that I said before the season started. You saw this game on the docket. While Julio was on the docket beforehand, he no longer. He was in, uh, with Tennessee. He didn't play this past weekend. But you have Calvin Ridley. You have some guy named Kyle Pitts who they haven't even figured out how to use yet. Don't know, even know how to use them yet. <laughs> they, they don't. But the thing is, is that if if you're the Jets, and, and as a Jet fan, that perspective is, of course, this is the week they're going to figure out how to use him. I mean, he was the number four overall pick for Pete's sake and for good reason. You look at the ability back at Florida to be able to do so many dynamic things, whether inline tight end, whether Y flex at tight end. He's just got so much potential and possibility. That, to me, the offense, the defense certainly doesn't scare you. There are a pair of saloon doors out there. and uh, They're a tour guide that says, hey, Jets, if you turn here, turn there, there's there's a touchdown right there. So the defense doesn't scare you at all, but the offense does. Matt Ryan, for as much as people have looked at the advanced uh, metrics for Matt Ryan, obviously isn't thrown the ball with the same velocity that he has uh, earlier in his career. But the offensive weapons, Calvin Ridley still really good. Kyle Pitts is still really good. And they have somehow stumbled into Cordero Patterson, who's the second coming of Barry Sanders, running the football, catching the football. I mean, what can't this man do? And I love it for my fantasy team, but I got some conflicting emotions heading into this <laughs> matchup in a Jets Falcons London contest. They've got a dynamic offense. And I know we haven't consistently seen that through the year. That's the thing that should scare everybody. Yeah, I, I would agree, man. Um, because, and the biggest thing is, your quarterback has to take care of the football uh, because you cannot give a dynamic offense extended opportunities. The other thing that just have to do is just have to stop the run. They have not done that. And so, of course, last week's game uh, against Derrick Henry, some of the numbers got a little bit jacked up because he had such success. But he's a bit of an outlier, so to speak, sometimes because that offensive line and him – are such a dynamic combination. Sometimes they can get the best of even a, a team that's actually pretty good against the run. But that, to me, the Jets have got to take care of the football, and they have to stop the run. If they can do that and they can limit the amount of opportunities that Matt Ryan has to put up the sort of scoring output that puts pressure on Zach Wilson to make big plays and then thus plays into this – negative tendency that he has at least at this point of his career i think they have a good opportunity to win this game and make it two in a row brian you got a crystal ball over there uh, over <laughs> there in Chinatown? that's what i'm talking about man they, yeah. you you've nailed it exactly that's exactly what has to happen and of course uh the other side of it is the jets had seven sacks last week they had six combined through the first three weeks of the season. Then they had seven all together against the Tennessee Titans. Hold my beer. Let me show you defense. So, yeah. uh, really, it was a, a fantastic showing, perhaps one they could certainly build upon uh, against the Dirty Birds in London. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Paul, I appreciate it. We have got to do this again. Something tells me, and I could be wrong, that you might be a good guy to have a pretty decent wwe or aew conversation with i'm just wondering it's just something i'm throwing out there i, don't know. I will say that you know it, it, you are once again spot on if anybody <laughs> needs a little bit of that flavor i can always bring it to the table your people talk to my people we'll figure it out. we'll figure it out all right man i appreciate you man you have a good one and we'll talk again appreciate you yes sir yes.